I'm just gonna start with the strawberry and leek bed. I'm gonna weed it and then I'm gonna put over the runners. It's a balloon. are very tiny so I'm just gonna pin them down but I'm not gonna shorten them. So 
so far so good. Let's see if I'm going to have a nice crop next year. I'm only going to have one bed of strawberries. And you know over there where the monster plants is now, I want to put in the tomatoes because in the two beds there were strawberries for the last, what, three or four years. And yes, I'm going to put in potatoes next year. Talking about potatoes, the farmer hasn't been here yet, so no collecting of the leftovers yet. These are the strawberries that I have bought. I have bought two trays of uh, six, so I have 12 plants. And I'm not even too sure if this is the variety or if it's just the brand. I have to look it up. Anyways. Okay. The next job I'm doing now is uh, cutting off most of the foliage from the tomatoes, hoping the one tomatoes I still have on it, which is quite a lot, hopefully are ripening. This cucumber plant is driving me nuts by now <laughs> because it has a millions of flowers, it's taking up all the space and then you hardly ever get out any, any proper cucumbers anyways. This is a complete monster plant and it grows very funny when you look at the stem, it's like flat like this. Can you see that? My goodness. The lesson I've learned, there will be only tomatoes in the tomato house next year and I must not be greedy because this is what you get out of it, the opposite. I mean, I mustn't complain I had tomatoes, but it could have been better. Mm. I mean, look at this. It's... look. Apparently it's um, an old variety. Oh, I'm not surprised they don't grow this anymore. It's out. good. 
this is the datil vine here. Got a I have to think about it. I think I'm gonna close it with some plastic for now. I do have a balcony door, but it's always a bit of a, a question of how to get it over to build it up properly. So I might just put some plastic down, which keeps the heat inside. So, it's looking a bit better now. I hope these toms I have still a lot of toms here are going to ripen which means I think my next job will be building a cover now just for now until I get my balcony door By the way, this is a calendula soap. Let's see if the coffee is still warm. Not hot, but warm enough. So glad the monster cucumber is out now. I've just spotted a really nice butternut. I'm going to show you. That's a nice size. I forgot I got distracted. I just wanted to show you these. I still have lots of them. And yeah, I hope they can ripen now since there is more light. They taste really lovely. So I need two meters by two meters. Let's see if I've got that. 